Hello, Magnum. Add for four. Here's your lure. Hello, Daniel. You're going to catch something again today. Hmm? Are you girls coming out hunting with us? You're going to have some beers. Or should we get them at the bottle store on the way out? No, we haven't. Simon drank them all. Hey, Dan. How much do you weigh today? Couple four. Why do you always go mad? Hmm? It's just your habit, eh? Not necessarily a stupid hawk. You just like being awkward, like me. So Stanley is 480 exactly, so it's 10 grams difference, and that's exactly where they should be. Come on, let go. Now I'll wait Magnum for you, and he should be about 470, yeah? Yeah. You missed one by the by ball here yesterday. So he'll be keen today. What a super hawk. Nice manners and everything. Except Simon's ugly hood. Very nice. Kill some more doves. Him and the steady penny. Stay. Stay. Somebody's got smelly breath in here. It's probably Simon. Okay. There's one done. Stanley, if you bite me, I'm going to be cross. Stanley. Got away without getting bitten that time. Come on, Popo. Up you go. There you go, Dan. Okay, dogs. Find a bit. Gary Stafford uses a slingshot to flush the ringneck dove for his cast of tiersels. Zimbabwe, rather than using a button jest, they simply put a cord through the eyelet and tie a knot in the end of it. Here Gary is untying the knot to prepare to release his tersel.
Peter Monday was the falconry coordinator who provided the very effective link and liaison between the Zimbabwe Falconers Club and the Department of Parks and Wildlife. I first met Ron Hartley at the 1981 NATHA meet in Joplin, Missouri. Because of our interest in birds of prey and falconry, we developed a very close friendship.
guys need to get them off this water. Hi! Hi! We've got to spread out, eh? otherwise they'll be drunk. Hold it. Hold it, hold it. Need to get up again. We're not going to kill you. There goes one. Hi! That's dead. Mostly the pigeons are used for training. Uh, they're very good racing pigeons. Um, they very rarely catch the pigeons if they're used properly. And then it's also a spare food supply. If you ever run out, then you've got always fresh food. Nice. And it's an African gospel.
Uh, do they some dive from the height uh, to, to pray now? No, no. Well, a few moments ago it was chasing some. Yes, but from a shallow. How is she today? Fine. Nice, looking nice. And very tame. You wouldn't, you wouldn't say it was nice. <laughs> Henry and I. You wouldn't, eh? Yeah, I yeah. know. Very nice.
<laughs> yeah, it's good now. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, oh yes, and it's going to be a big one there. Hiya, come! Hey, hey, hey! Come on! Hey, hey! Come on! Come on! The third kill on the half fleeing the falk. No work for the dogs, Arthur. What? No works for the dog. Dog. Uh, no, not today. Yeah, uh, this one deserves a bit of a tooth extraction because he jumped out of the car without my permission. Oh, I see. But he's got no teeth left anyway, so it's a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, tell me, uh, what do you think about uh, the red eye as a quarry? <laughs> so quick. <laughs> really nice. A bit heavier. <laughs> yeah, the boys also thought they were a bit heavy too. Now they were hitting them. <laughs> think, oh, shit, this is I Mike think Tyson that punching. <laughs> nothing happened. Most, most, of, most of the thrill on my video will be the knocks. You, you, you hear the sound probably. I don't know now, but I missed most of the most of the hits. You're just too slow, are you? Yeah, I'm too slow. I'm, <laughs> get, I'm getting old. <laughs> but we, we keep trying. So you're going to have a soundtrack on the video? No video. Yeah. <laughs> just put it on a record. Listen to this for Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Flash! Bloody dogs are gone. The hawks are disappearing again. Well, at least Simon will be entertained if nobody else. <laughs> That's right. He's going to understand what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> This is actually where Simon fell over that fence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were hunting just over here. And I was running along with my lanner. I jumped the fence, no problem, because I was very excited and yeah. much younger, much thinner. Yeah. And Simon, with his sprint on Werner, <laughs> got one foot stuck in between the top and the second strand. <laughs> and he went over. <laughs> and he had one long leg sticking up. <laughs> with a size 12 shoe on the end. <laughs> but that was very funny. Was well, it the same evening as that... Uh with the washing line? No, 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 no. that was another time. Rudy lost his uh, slutter bitch. Yeah. And we, Simon and I found it about nine o'clock at night. Yeah. From, we ran from Raynham yeah. all the way to Mount Hamden. Yeah. And Simon was teasing me because I got these short legs. Yeah. But when we were running back, he was running behind me because I, well, with my short, fat, furry legs, they didn't fall in holes in that. Yes. I had a good, firm hold on the ground. And all Simon's running behind me going trip, 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 trip. And we're running past the compound and I'm trip, 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 trip. Next thing I hear, <laughs> I turn around and there's Simon with a, with a, a washing line in the throat. <laughs> I'd run straight underneath it and he, him being this much taller caught it right in the yeah. throat. It's Absolutely actually interesting, when Simon came out here the first time, this is also the spot where I brought him the very first hunt that he came on. And we hunted doves in those bushes over there had some very nice hunting on red eyes, didn't catch anything. And in the meantime, Frost had come on point in the middle of the flay there. And I'd been telling Simon about how easy it was to catch snipe, and that we used snipe to enter our birds. And you know, he, I'd seen his face, he didn't believe us. And I said, all right, there's a dog on point, we'll walk over and catch the snipe. And we went over and we flushed the snipe. I don't think it even went 20 meters. And the hawk caught it and landed over there. And I went and picked it up and I said, there you are, there's a snipe. <laughs> and uh, he was most impressed. In fact, he wanted to phone home to speak to old Hank Dykes about it. <laughs> telling him that it was true. And Hank's... Well, I don't think Hank Dykes believes in him, but now we're going to have to go and catch a snipe for him as well. <laughs> no, I, I haven't seen it. But he, as an ornithologist, they should have known that it was a different species. Uh, <laughs> well, we did mention it.
Did she kill? Yeah. What? Hold it for me, please. I'm losing my pants. What do you think? We love eating, love eating them, but um, but the whole thing is that you must have fleas. No, no, no. no. I lost them one on my way home, so I should have offered it. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, I eat probably one no, a cockbird. year. Is the cockbird? Yeah. No. no. It's Isn't it a cockbird? That's a cockbird, surely. So, yeah. Yeah. The last one was a cockbird. Because he hasn't got, because, well, he has any small spurs. And uh, I have it on the video, Yuri. Yeah. Is it? Yes, yes. It it's was cool. maybe, the, uh, uh, it was behind <laughs> the bush, a bit dark perhaps. Yeah. But you saw in the viewer that the falcon was carrying the, uh, the Franklin. Ah, good. It was really a bit late. I was not too happy. Franklin, was, so. Franklin was squeaking a bit, squawking a bit. They always do. <laughs> they always do when they catch them like this. But they are so clever, Peter. When, when there's no cover, and she knocks them down instead of grabbing them. But yes. when there's cover like this, she grabs them because she knows she loses them if she does. Yeah, that's them down. Uh, one of the qualities of a passion. They are very, very clever. It's to hunt her over. And it's hard work and it's Mopani country all the way around. It's not yeah. easy. And one day she put this teal in into amongst the Mopanis. He hit it down in the ground and yeah. then threw up and wouldn't come down. Yeah. And there was this bloody tawny, like it's stooping as though it was at the end of a thread. Yes. It just got bigger and bigger, bigger and, and bigger, bigger and bigger. And, bigger. and it, it just winnowed down and landed right in the Mapani tree by where this teal was hiding. So I pulled it down, I chased the tawny away, I went there, and this teal was literally at the base of the tree in the open. I just picked it up, <laughs> said thanks.
Miss Vincent Franklin, Quail. Uh, one cat legret, which I didn't see. <laughs> okay, okay, where you one night out there, yeah. and That's the last one of the lot. Yeah. Oh, and this is a little bit season. Full season. Alright, do you want to touch me to get you sorted out, John? A bit worried, do you remember what happened last time? Yeah, hold the hold, lift the white bird a bit. 